Hey everybody, welcome to Roadcraft and welcome to my shop. So we're on to top tip number three, keys. Unfortunately, no matter how much we tell some people, they don't tend to listen about bending and breaking keys. So there's two things you need to think about here. The first one, if you look at the ignition, you will notice that that bit there is spring loaded. That is only so that you can activate the steering lock. What people do is they put the key in, they press really hard and then try and force the key and wonder why it doesn't go. The way to use these keys is to put it in the ignition, push against the spring and then let go. Then only fingertips and turn it on. And it's the same when you turn it off, once and then key out. If you have to operate the steering lock, the steering has to be turned and it has to be pushed and turn to the steering lock. But if you ever feel that you're having to force the key, you're doing it wrong. So that's the ignition, spring loaded. The second part is your petrol cap. These are spring loaded, and the reason they're spring loaded is to stop the petrol going all over your groin. And you can see there's a seal there. When you close these, especially on these Hondas, it's very simple, provided that the mechanism's lubricated. Just push with your thumb. and fingertips. If it doesn't work with fingertips, you're not doing it right. With some petrol caps, you do, when you press it, have to hold it down and then turn it back with your fingertips. On these Kawasaki's, you'll see that the key is very thin and very long, and it's already been slightly bent. The reason for this is that when you undo this petrol cap, you need to put the pressure on first and then turn the key to take the weight off and you can see there it pops itself back up and when you fasten it keep the pressure on just make sure it's finished off to its position and out because these keys don't go all the way in look and it's lucky that this is lubricated because people that try and undo them without the lubrication start bending the key but on this one we're very lucky the dump now that i've told you this if you've listened if you bend or break a key, it is your fault. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.